guys yo welcome back to gist tv where you have your gist all diluted so guys you know this channel is about undiluted anything i say in this channel is undiluted i know they add water i know they add water i they give the gist exactly how it is so guys today is about widowhood my journey as a widow my journey as a widow how fair people have been treating me <laughs> ah guys it's not easy oh. You have friends, good, good friends, big friends, you know, when your husband is alive. But once your husband is gone, they begin to avoid you like, they begin to, they will know quite all right that you are not a flat when it comes to flat. Nobody, no single person can point at you and say, you have flat with my husband or before, or you have a history of flirting. She understand? You know, I am that kind of friend that uh, friends will look around and say, no, if Oma is not like that, you know, Aji is not like that. Yes, I'm that kind of friend that my friends will gather and say, no, no, no. Even if they are gisting about things, you know, somehow. I respect everybody, you know, when it comes to your choice of um ev like your choice of life everything you choose to do i have respect for that do you understand so i keep my own land i keep my own land yes so guys i am that kind of i will i am that kind of woman that kind of wife that love her husband so much I am, I was that woman that loved her husband more than you do, more than you love your own husband. Yes, I was that. I was that woman that pet my husband like a baby. I mean, like a real baby, you know. I am that woman that gave her husband rest, peace of mind. I am that woman that was at home. Whenever he comes from work, he's coming back from work. Once the work, the, 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 the clock is dotted to where he, he will stop working for the day, he will call me and say, baby, where are you? I'll say, maybe I am going to the market or I'm visiting my friend. He will say, okay, just stop where you are. I am coming there so that we go together because anywhere you are is home. It was like that, yes. It was like that. Now, boom, everything, he lied. Friends no longer call you, like seriously. They no longer call you to ask, how are you? How are you faring? How are you? What is happening? What is happening about you? How do you do? I am feeling about you. I want to, I will, how are you? Don't come around. Let's relate. Let's talk. No, 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 no. They begin to keep to their land, thinking that their choice of husband might be the choice of my test. <laughs> yeah, I might be a beautiful woman, but I don't flirt. Whether you like it or not, yes, I am beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I have a choice. Even I have a choice, and I am a principled, a principled person. If you know what I mean. Yes, I am. A principled person. But what pains me is that you will see friends. They no longer care how you are, how you're feeling. They no longer, they no longer think, Chai, what, what are you doing now? Can you come out? Let's relate. Let's, you know, overseas. They do it. You see women coming together like friends. They are there catching each each person's back, you know, being there for each person. But it's not like that in Nigeria. Things are so difficult that people make it so difficult for people. Yes, it's like that. It's like that. They no longer think about you. They forget that you were once loved. You were once cared for. You were, you were, they, they, in their mind, they will not say, mm, let, let me see how she'll come, she'll be doing that shakara that she used to do. Because, yes, I once used to be a shakara person. Shakara babe, you know. 
Yes. Hey, all those her shakara has died because her husband is not there. But let me tell you, guys. Let me tell you, guys. Let me tell you. You cannot kill my vibe. Nobody can kill my vibe. Nobody. You cannot kill my vibe. Yes. Now, boom. Their own husband died. You now see them start calling you. Hey, Aji, hey, hey, how, how, how did you cope? How did you cope? Do you know I can't say? Must you call when it happened to you too? I don't pray for it to happen to anybody. But you don't have to be there when it happened to you. I know many friends that I had that, that lost their husband and I was there for them. And I have a very good friends too who have never been there for me ever since I lost my husband. So guys, when do we learn? When do we learn? It's not fair. We have to be there for our, our sisters. Be our sisters keepers. Yes. We have to be there for our sister. Whether good or bad. Whether you have husband or not. Even my even your own sister coming from the same parents. They don't even call you. Because they don't feel the way you're feeling. And these are the people that, even while your husband was alive, your husband would call them, you know, give them gifts, talk with them, relax with them. Ah, Nigeria. Now, wow. It's very, very unfair. The way most people treat widows. Like, you are the one that deletes your own husband. They forget that you were once loved. That you have... Anything they had, they are having now. That you you have had it, you have enjoyed it. You know how it is, and that will make them to know how to care for you, how to how to relate with you. But all of them will just go to their shell. <clears throat> but once it happened to them, they want them to be. They want you to be with them. That's not fair. The way they treat a widow. So today, if you have not called a widow and say, "How are you doing?" I am thinking about you. Do it right away. You don't know tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. Yes. If you have not called a widow and say, and say, how are you? God is your strength. If you have not visited, visit today. Yes, find a widow around you and visit. Video hood sock. If you want to go out like I am an outgoing person, we used to go out, we used to go and eat and talk and relate everything. And sometimes, most time, we don't eat at home, we eat outside and come back, though we have food at home. Yes, we have food at home, but we want to eat outside. It was our turn. Yes, it was our turn. Because I like, I'm an outgoing person. But today it's a lonely something, it's a lonely road. That even if I go out, I don't enjoy things like the way we used to go. Sometimes we'll go and we, from there we'll quarrel and come home. It's our turn. Sometimes we'll go, we we'll laugh and come home. We we'll roll in the bed, you know, do all the things we, we, we normally do that is normal for married couple. But today, all those things are no more again. So, the Bible said that God is the husband of the widow, the father of the fatherless, the husband of the husbandless. Yes. The God of the foreigners. Yes. It is true. His words are faithful and true. And that is why I am bouncing. Because he's making me strong. It's three years now. I no longer cry as I used to because I know that he wouldn't want me to be crying like that. Yes. Soon, very soon, I will see him again. When God will remove every tear from our eyes, neither dead nor outcry be anymore. All this former nonsense things you guys think are anything we think of the past yes so guys thank you if you have watched this extent if you have watched
watched this thank you so much thank you so much so please join this family join this family relax with me relax with the sister subscribe give me thumbs up share this video let this video go viral share this video like this video give me thumbs up please and subscribe and stay with me properly in this family thank you so much i'll see you guys in my next video mm, i love you guys i love you guys so much you are my comfort thank you so much see you guys shooting with widows doesn't mean that you want your husband to die yes Commiserating with widows doesn't mean that you're wishing your husband dead. Yes. Nobody wants, it's, it's, it's not the widows, they, they did not kill their husbands. They did not kill, they did not wish their husband dead, thoughtless of killing him. Nobody knows tomorrow. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. You don't have, you don't know. So don't boast with your husband. Don't boast with your wife. Don't even boast with your children. Because there's nothing we have in this life that we did not receive. Nothing. So guys, try a call. Give a widow a call. I mean a loving call. Console them. You don't know what they are going through. I don't wish you that. It's a lonely road. It sucks. Nothing, nothing can replace the love you have for your husband, your first husband.